Simon Bingo is a former refugee who learned all about movies from a non-governmental organization yeah. called Film Aid while he was living in the Kakuma refugee camp in Kenya. He later studied filmmaking at Kenya's East African School of Media Studies and is now helping others in South Sudan produce their own productions. Simon established a film festival in the capital Juba last year. It was a roaring success and is for a comeback this year. Due to the ongoing instability in South Sudan, Simon says the festival is running later than scheduled. Our local filmmakers, we want them to be able to produce good films with high quality that can meet its standards so that we can be able to submit to other festivals like in Europe, in the US, in Kenya, wherever place you are, so that they can also represent the image of South Sudan. South Sudan's film industry is growing. In 2011, there were only two productions in the country. This year, more than 70 films have been submitted for inclusion on the program. Many international organizations operating in South Sudan, such as the German Goods Institute, USAID, Internews, and the Swedish Embassy are supporting the Juba Film Festival. And their support is encouraging more people to venture into the industry. The industry is growing. Even with all our security and economic challenges, we are able to produce films. One day we could be one of the best film industries in Africa or even the world. What makes the Juba Film Festival even more unique is that South Sudan doesn't have cinema, let alone a film school, and there is only one TV station in the country. Festival organizers have had to overcome a number of challenges, including where to screen the films. Hotels, youth centers, and even football fields are being used as venues. It's a rare opportunity for filmmakers to screen their work to audience. When these films are shown and people see for themselves what we've made, I am filled with pride for what we've achieved, for all the work we've done. The Juba Film Festival runs until Saturday with awards for various categories like Best Actor and Best Documentary. There are also cash prizes which it's hoped will help to further grow the country's budding industry. Patrick Koyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.